Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Well, Let's Update Rise of Nations, Rise of Legends A year ago, about a year ago, I uploaded a video of how to manually update this game because I personally had some trouble in uh, making this game to its final patch state and since then I garnered some views and I truly hope that it helped at least some of the gamers or some of the viewers to update the game as well However, I believe the video reflected at least a bit of a trial and error process I experienced while patching this game. So I decided to make a clearer version. But I have uninstalled this game and reinstalled it. Hope that it reflects the vanilla state. This is the, basically the starting screen. In order to check the version number or I guess the update status of this game, then you have to go through a few options go through a few screens so go to options and extras and there is utilities and information and up here it is about rise of legends button that you can click to check the version number and i think this is the version for the vanilla state of the game 0.0604 the european version might be a bit higher than this because its release date was after the North American version and at least the first update has been incorporated into the European version and yeah this is the version number that you can check after you have updated the game to see whether it has been any changes I do recommend updating the game to the final state like I mentioned uh, I think you know I must have mentioned this but the patches themselves are rather large and the kind of changes they make in terms of balance and in terms of content additions uh, do reflect that rather substantial size at around 320 megabytes and i think the third party matchmaking service for online play do mandate that you have to have the same version number all right so i downloaded all the files let's go back and uh, exit the game the first thing that i did was right click the folder that the game is installed in in my case it's rise of legends on the default folder and if you go into the folder properties you can see that uh, one of the attributes here is uh, marked as read only i uncheck this hit apply yeah basically uh, just prompt you to make sure that you want to um, apply the changes to not only this folder but it's just of folders and files then i say okay yeah so this is now not read only so i guess the files of patches can make necessary changes so the thing about patches is i've downloaded two european patch files for this game and one us only patch this is only required if you have the us version or north american version and the european versions are only required if you have bought this game the cd form before 2010 on the Rise of Legends Heaven site, there are links to these files on ZippyShare, and I include the links in the video as well. On the site, it says DVD version of the game released after 2010 has already been patched fully. So at least the Microsoft Game Studios have thought about that possibility where the servers will not be working and they have patched the game to its fullest before releasing it in a, some kind of a DVD collection um, you know, release. As far as this file, it's only required for you to install if you have a certain error that you encounter trying to play one of Microsoft's games. And I'll show you what that error is. So I have unzipped all the files here. So EU patch 1, 2, and US only patch. And in order to install it, you have to move this patch folder basically into the Rise of Legends folder which I have open which I have it open right here so I just copy it yeah all the patches are being copied proceed to the second patch file here move this file into the patches folder that you have just transferred into the Rise of Legends folder And if you have the North American version, then you have to also transfer this file into the patches folder. So this is the folder where the patches are in the Rise of Legends folder. So you can see here the patches folder. So 
since I'm updating the US game, I'm going to use the US patch manual batch file and copy it in the main folder. And this is the Rise of Legends folder that have its read-only status unchecked. And the readme file here, um, try to open it, uh, says that you can just click this in order to install the patches and update the game. To do that, you just right click it and run as administrator and see if it updates. And it seems to have done something. Let's check and uh, see if the game reflects the change. Yeah, you can see that here the version number has not changed, so the update has failed. This is the first problem I've encountered, and I believe for other users as well, that the batch file does not work, does not execute. This time, I'd have to try to go into the command file prompt and basically execute batch file from inside the command prompt. So let's do that. So we have the command prompt right here. And in this case as well, you have to run as admin. And we have the command prompt. And the next step involves just going to the game install directory. Yeah, so we have finally arrived at the directory of the Rise of Legends. And basically try to run the batch file again by just typing the file name, including the extension. And try to run it. And you can see that something is being run here. I mean, yeah, the patch files are being written. So for me, this worked as far as the patches are concerned, but some people have commented they still had problems not being able to update. I have suspicion that maybe their games have already been updated. They have purchased a DVD version after 2010. It's a possibility and the game gets corrupted if you try to apply new patches over top of the patches. I don't know why it should happen, but that is distinct possibility. And here after the patch process being complete, you can see here the result. So I believe this time we'll be able to see the version number update. Let's go into the game and see whether anything has changed. So here we are once again, and you can see that the version number has changed to uh, 704. I think the previous version number was 604. I'm not so sure whether there has been any other patches released after this, but as far as I know, this is the latest version. And one thing to mention is if you're trying to record this game, I have encountered a lot of different errors, especially when I'm trying to use the recording software. This program uses something called Acrobat Distiller and it uh, creates a lot of conflict between the programs. And it has been um, a lot of times where the game just exits to the desktop. Uh, I guess that's called CTD. And mentions that there has been a problem or conflict between the programs using the Acrobat Distillers and only one instance of Distiller has to be running in order for the game to function. I'm not so sure what actually causes it, um, but yeah, one of the recording softwares, whether it's Audacity or Fraps, definitely causes it. Recording software that has been bundled with MSI Afterburner, the program that has been used to benchmark or monitor your graphics card, do not cause that kind of conflict. And that is the program I use to record the software. As far as Audacity is concerned, um, my LP of the game has been done with it. But I don't know exactly, I could not go to the bottom of the problem. And finally, when I went back to the folder where I kept all the patch files, I have discovered this file, uh, mxxml4, and I wonder why it was, and after a search on the internet, I found out that I apparently suffered from mxxml error message that this game displayed, and if you do not have this file installed, then it is advised you install it. It's a one-time thing. After you install it, you don't have to worry about it. And uh, yeah, this applies to a whole web of Microsoft published games. It's kind of surprising that I have not installed the Microsoft published game until Rise of Legends. Yeah, and that is basically a limit of my experience in patching Rise of Legends game. I hope that this video helped somewhat in addition to the original video. 
and I really hope that you will be able to patch this game and um, experience all that it has to offer. And yeah, and uh, happy gaming and see you next time.